is Thomas Wade? He first appeared in Detective Comics number 33. Our story begins in Gotham City. Thomas was born into the eighth generation of the very successful Wayne family. There is not much known of his childhood, we don't hear much of Thomas until he was well into his adult years. Thomas studied to become a surgeon with Dr. Leslie Tompkins. Leslie opened up her own clinic in Park Row, and Thomas would become well known for his surgical skills. Thomas soon inherited the very successful family business, Wayne Enterprises. At the time, Wayne Enterprises was mostly known for making industrial technology, and Thomas was now the CEO of the company. Thomas invested a large sum of the company's money into real estate which escalated their fortune. As Thomas's wealth continued to grow, he became more of a philanthropist and playboy. He soon moved to work at Gotham General, and because of his wealth, he worked there for free. Thomas soon met the love of his life, Martha. He quickly began to settle down, and they got married. Soon after, Martha had become pregnant with their son. One evening, the soon-to-be parents were on a drive back to Gotham. Then Thomas witnesses a strange object fall to earth, so he drives towards the site of the crash. Thomas discovers an alien object and his consciousness is suddenly transported to Krypton. There he encounters Jor-El, who wishes to know more about planet Earth. Jor-El then explains that Earth is upon one of many possible planets for him to send his son to. Thomas tells Jor-El that the people of Earth are perfect, but are essentially a good and kind race who would raise the child right. After he explained this, Jor-El was convinced to send his son to Earth. After their conversation, Thomas's consciousness is transported back to Earth. During this time, Thomas Wayne experienced troubles from his investments and Wayne Enterprises was on the threshold of bankruptcy. Thomas went back to the crash site and gathered any remaining pieces of this Kryptonian technology and took it back to Gotham. There he began to research this technology and implement it into Wayne Enterprises, effectively skyrocketing the company's worth. Some time later, Martha gave birth to their only son, Bruce Wayne. Thomas was thought to be a great father to Bruce, and spent much of his time with him. Did you build this train, Dad? Gotham's been good to our family. But the city's been suffering. People less fortunate than us have been enduring very hard times. So we built a new, cheap public transportation system to unite the city. And at the center, Wayne Tower. Is that where you work? 
No, I work at the hospital. I lead the running of our company to much better men. Better? Well, more interested men. The Wayne family soon hired a full-time butler, Alfred Pennyworth. Alfred had an undying devotion to the Wayne family. He would help the family with any business needs, prepare their meals, and even watch young Bruce whenever the family was away for business. While the life of Thomas seemed picture perfect, his reputation suggested a very different image. Thomas was thought to have been involved in organized crime with Gotham's most notorious mobsters. Hand on your head, now! You're Thomas Wayne? No, I am. Some rumors even suggest that in private, Thomas was a drunken and abusive husband who indulged in drugs and secret organizations. None of these rumors were confirmed but caused serious suspicion. Hill greased the wheels of politics, Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Your father, Hamilton Hill and Falcone, they were partners. One day, the Wayne family visited the Monarch Theatre. As they were watching the play, Bruce became frightened and wanted to leave. As the family was leaving the theatre, they are confronted in an alley at gunpoint. Thomas and Martha try to plea with this man, but they are both shot and killed. Following the murders of the Wayne family, Alfred was named Bruce's legal guardian as it was willed by his parents. The Wayne murders caused a massive wave of corruption and crime in Gotham, one that the city would never recover from. Eventually, their son Bruce would decide to fight crime and corruption, becoming one of the most famous heroes of all time. This origin takes place during the events of Flashpoint. These events caused a fracture in time that created repercussions in the past, present, and future. Thomas Wayne was an incredibly wealthy surgeon, and the CEO of Wayne Enterprises. He was married to Martha and had a son named Bruce. One night, after the family had watched a play at a local theater, life would never look the same. As they were leaving, they were suddenly held at gunpoint in an alley. Before they could escape, Bruce was murdered in front of his parents. Several months later, the Waynes were still fighting severe depression. Martha had been in therapy and it wasn't helping at all. One day, Martha begins to talk to Thomas about how she missed their son. Thomas then told her that it was time to move on, and that he missed her smile.
Later that day, Thomas tracked down the criminal that killed their son. When he finally found him, he beat the man to death with his bare hands. When Thomas returned home he noticed something was very unusual about Martha. As she revealed herself, he found that she had carved a smile into her face. Martha went on to start a life of crime and murder, and became known as the Joker. Thomas was traumatized from his family's recent events, and decided to take crime into his own hands. Thomas made a suit intended to strike fear into criminals, and began to fight crime in Gotham City. Thomas quickly gained a fierce reputation amongst criminals, and became known as Batman. Batman wielded two pistols along with other gadgets and would show criminals no mercy, only brutality. Some time later, he would be confronted by the Flash and was explained the events of the fracture in time. While Thomas was very reluctant to help the Flash out at first, he eventually decided to help stop this crisis. Along with a team of heroes, he was able to help put a stop to the universe-altering events of Flashpoint. Thomas Wayne was never seen after the timeline was restored, although this version of Batman remains as one of the most brutal and violent of all time. While Thomas Wayne does not have any special abilities, his life and death are responsible for creating one of the most important heroes of all time. Please like this video and subscribe for more unknown comic origins.